Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity 2. As I continue with my blind let's play. Last time we made it to the ruins of Pokokohara. Um, and yeah, it looks like the expedition... Like all their stuff's still here, we're going to find out what happened to them. Uh, I'm assuming they're trapped somewhere in these ruins. So, like I said last time, we're going to go go down the well. Um, I'm assuming it's another entrance besides the front door. So, let us go, because I think we're all... Yeah, those are just buffs, so yeah, we are all ready to go. I'll take care. This weathered stone well seems fairly old, though you see fresh signs of excavation in the sand around it. A rope dangles over the side, trailing down into the darkness. I'm gonna send someone down. I'm gonna send Maya. You take a firm uh, grip on the rope and make your way down. It's not long before the dark surface of the water becomes visible below. The end of the rope dangles just above the water. Maya spots a patch of burlap against the muck and stone. An old sack appears to have been lost or hidden in a crack in the wall. Unfortunately, the sack is out of arm's reach and the material looks worn thin. It might be possible to swing over and grab the sack, but any blunder is likely to snag it on the stone. What is her athletics? I don't remember. It's a one! It's a one. Climb back up. She climbs back up. Alright. I'm gonna send someone down. I'm gonna send myself this time. Elseris descends. Guys, my athletics is at nine. This should be good enough. If it's not... That's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna swing towards the sack. Oh, I could have just... Well, no, I have to, because they're the only ones. You kick your legs back and forth. Your smooth, deft motions bring you closer and closer to the wall until the sack is finally in reach. Grab it. As the sack comes free, it uh, snags on the stone and, ri and rips open. Glittering gems spill the tear as the rope swings in its smooth, steady arc. A quick grab could save the falling gems, but the sack still feels heavy with treasure. Uh, what is my dexterity? Ted? No. Leave with the sack. Forget the gems. You tighten your grip on the rope and haul yourself back up into the blistering desert. Nice. Okay, so we gain those kind of gems. I guess we could have ga uh, you know, gained more. But that is a okay. So I was wrong. There is only one entrance. So let us go. And see what happens. Oh. That looks really cool. Yeah, that looks really awesome. Um, what is this? In Gwithin Titan. Attack. Okay, if I was gonna attack, um, now you're gonna hold off on a fireball or anything. Um, Takehu, you're going to. Yes, we're gonna do that. You're gonna hold until we get in range. This does not work. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Try that. That should heal everybody in range. If you can get it off, please get it off. It didn't work. I'm guessing he is immune to like water effects and whatnot. So. Okay. Alceris, I'm gonna do this new ability. I'm gonna zoom in for it. Your aim. 
There we go. This does not work. Maybe she didn't pull it off. Hang on. Smart stoning. Okay. How are we looking? Okay, it's almost dead. Oh, goodness. Uh, wrong person. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Gosh, that looks so cool. Kind of also gave me flashbacks back to the, the White March expansion with those, uh, those, mm -hmm. you know, giants and whatnot. Uh-huh. Oh wait, what am I doing? I need to loot it. Uh, living steel. Nice. Living iron, okay. You know what? I just thought about it. I'm getting all these materials, and... I haven't done any crafting. Drugs? Okay. That's... Okay. Interesting. Um, I don't know why I never noticed that before. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to, you know, at some point, uh, I think, uh, mess with that later. So the patina over the entrance tells of age and long exposure. In spite of its degradation, the copper door is a, as heavy and densely forced as a vault. Gravity holds the slab firmly against the stone. I'm going to use the, the key. After you dust away some of the stand, uh, sand blocking the hole, the shell fits perfectly. You turn the shell to the right. The resistance it encounters quickly gives way to the sound of gears turning beyond the stone. The door slowly rises. The opening discharges a breeze of stale air and something else. A feeling which emanates from the yawning darkness that makes your every hair stand on end. <laughs> Alright, in Gwythin Way Station Level 1. Let's check this place out. A thin layer of sand and dust has settled upon the crates. Sand has encroached in all the wrong places, I say. I'll take care of this. Striding alongside the engwithin figures depicted on this mule, you notice what appears to be Juana. Let's just let's just be cautious, everybody. Yep, what is that? I missed it. It probably looks like a beetle or something. Um, your orders, Maya. Let's stealth go. and go back the other way. Check it out. I haven't really been doing this a lot, but I need to start scouting some areas. What have we here? And it's a good thing I did. It's a really oh wow! It's a really good thing I did. Unfortunate. Let us not repeat history. Yeah, she's gonna start disarming all that. Good lord, this whole room is just... Come on. Oh, no, no. There we go. Oh man, only 13. What did you find, Ishii? Nice. Just gonna take another quick look. Let's check this out. The mural depicts Hwana and Gwythin figures gathered before a blue flame. 
Well done, Maya. Let me zoom in here just to get a better look. And in case anybody's on a phone. This crocodilian idol is unfamiliar to you. One of carvings along the offering bowl suggests it was once revered. And Griffin Bracers. Uh, petrified guard resistance to dexterity and afflictions. And then what is this? Onyx. Okay. Do you have any bracers on you? No, so might as well hold on to that. I'll put this to good use. Yeah, you will. All right. Well done, Maya. I'm an idiot. Hang on, guys. I just realized I passed up this room. Okay, go back in the still. Yeah, because that just keeps going. Just, just be careful, Maya. From me. Yeah, okay, so it is beetles. Okay, double back. We're not gonna mess with the, the pillar just yet. I think one uh once Alceris gets there, I'll mess with that. There we go. I'm listening, can do. Stun bomb and an effigy of imps. Can't hide from me. All right, guys. Of course. Go in. Ooh, revenant. <laughs> Stealth and attack, my. Captain. I got this, Captain. Hope you do. Out of wall, this room seems to have buckled inward uh, under a tide of sand and rubble. The air uh, wafts up from the fissure on the floor. Okay. Now this I cannot do. Ah, uh, just go ahead and just go ahead and stash all that. All right. Before we continue on down that hallway, we're gonna check out this pillar. I'll take care of this. You pushed her. Merle, she came after me. Uh. You pushed her. Merle, she came after me. Didn't mean to do that. Well, I didn't think. Okay, let me rephrase. I meant to click on it twice. Yes, I didn't think it would do the same thing again, but that's okay. Alright, let's continue down. You know what? Everybody's still. And go! Yeah, take care of that sorcerer. Take care of that sorcerer right now. Take care of your aim. This 
will not do! Ashiza, strike! Alright. Let's go. Yes, let us continue. Oh wait, what am I doing? I keep forgetting to loot every time. Alright. Now let us continue on. Okay. So this is this is uh level one, so well, I don't see the point. <laughs> Ishi gets it. Oh my goodness, Maya. Uh so yeah, since this is level one, I wonder how big this place is. I'll handle this. Lights and shapes seem to stir just beneath the surface of the Audra, rippling past in irregular motions. Let's go over here really fast. Pick that up, and Juana figures prostrate themselves before a blue flame. Something about a blue flame. Whatever that is going to mean. All right, let's continue down. There we go. I uh, for a second there it uh looked like it was locking up on me. Almost enough to make one feel self-conscious. Level 2, a lot bigger. Um I feel like it, there could be another level, but since we're not right here just yet, you know. I'll take care of this. Luminous Audra appears infected, taking on a darker hue as it descends. Hmm. Yeah, not a good sign. You know what? I'm gonna pause right here because I have th I have some thoughts already. Um. I wonder... I wonder if it's Rawatai that's actually... poisoned the Adra somehow? I mean, well, I say that. I don't know. Um, maybe it's not. It could just be maybe some of the natives. It could just be something else. I don't know. Is that blood? What have you done? I found him like this. Why is your blade drawn? You're crazy! Stay back! So I'm like... So these must be the Valians, I'm guessing. Uh, and it... I don't know if it's because of the Adra or... Or what, but yeah, they've kinda... Started to lose it. Okay, Pokokohara Expedition Log. Excellent. Here we go. This leather-bound logbook has property of the Valent Trading Company stamped inside its cover. Most of the pages are, bra are, are dark brown and stiff, stained with some dark aromic beverage. A few pages have been ripped from the end. We set out at, at dawn on the orders of Governor Alvari. She's heard rumors of Luminous Adra at a place called Pokokoharu. Unfortunately, the place is said to be surrounded by storms, and it doesn't appear on any of our charts, but we're told the locals of Tikawara may be able to help. I heard stories of bad run-ins with the Wana tribes, but Chieftain uh, Rowney, 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 however you say it, uh, the tribe at Tikawara welcomed us warmly, fed us as well as could be expected, and marked Pokokohara on our maps. He seems to believe the storms are magical, or else the will of the gods. I hold out hope that they can be stopped. Left for Pokokohara this morning? Vector wasn't happy about being left behind, but he was too sick to travel, and Beza was losing patience. Haven't seen a Rautai ship since we left Nagataka, but she's still afraid they'll beat us there. That's kind of what I was wondering, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, storms were some of the worst I've seen, but we made it. We set up camp by the cliffs, 
but we're all looking forward to getting into the ruins. At least it'll be dry in there. We lost Jean and Olara today. I don't know what, I don't know what, but something about this place is off. The others feel it too. The Merles here are incredible. Pufep and Gwithens met an ancient water two two thousand years ago. That they might have uh, even built this place. I keep trying to explain this to Beza, but she won't listen. We found the top of the Audra vein. It's glowing. Beza says we have to go deeper. Alrighty, so two ways. We're gonna go this way first. Well, I say. Easily done. Can we pick this? Can't take all the credit. Oh wow. I'll take care of this. This might bypass a lot, but we'll see. There. Maybe I should have stealth, but that's okay. Audra in a minute. Okay, let's do it. Alright. Uh actually no. We're gonna hold off on that. Not sure I can. Oh. I got this, Captain. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Ain't you got the decency to die? I love that move. I know I've, I've said it before, but that that charge move, it's so good. Son of a cur! Well, what happened? Maybe she just said that because she lost uh, concentration at the very end. Exceptional great sword. Hang on, let me. Yeah, because it's Palagina that has great swords. Um. Actually, in that case, let me give it to myself. And you know what? She might already have it, an exceptional great sword, and I just don't remember. I'll get that for you. Easily done. Can take all the credit. Yeah, you can. You can take all the credit. All right. The etchings upon the sarcophagus have been worn down past legibility. Alright everybody, let's let's stealth. Let's stealth it. Yeah, I feel like we just passed up a lot of uh rooms. I if that's the case, I'm debating whether or not to go back for them. I might need to. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on, everybody, get back into formation. I wonder. Um, Your orders can do. Everybody, just hang out here. Everybody, just hang out here. I'm here. Speak freely. My go scout, see where the the what the rest of it looks like. Oh wow. Okay. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I just love the the design and everything. Oh man, look at this place. Whoa. Look at that. Interesting. You got the statues and holding up everything. Oh wow. Your orders? There's actually some stairs going up. So wait, is actually this the path? They don't. Not a problem, they... Captain. Watch your back, watch Come your closer, feet. Ooh. Uh. Get out of that room quickly. Go. Go, 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 go. Maya, this is gonna hurt. Back off, though. This does not work. Oh goodness. 
Don't know if she pulled that off. I don't think she did. Come on, Zodi. Get the healing off. Thank you. Still got it. It makes no difference. Too difficult, I say. Time to separate the chaff. Nice. Good job, guys. Charge. Onward. There we go. Okay, yeah, those guys uh, are not hanging off. Definitely need to sell, I think, a lot of this once, uh, once it's all said and done. All right. Okay, yeah, that keeps going. Let's. I know we bypassed all that, but let's let's go back and just take a quick look. My main reasoning is, I mean, for one thing, this place looks cool. My other reasoning is, someone took the time to design this dungeon. I wanna, I wanna see this dungeon. We here? You know, kind of one of those things. Ooh, no, 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 no! Not what I meant to do. I meant to disarm it. There we go. Oh, that might stay. Okay, never mind. I think it's good. I'm here. I shall. All right, go. This does not work. Ooh. This also could be a mistake coming in this room, but maybe not. Nah, I'm gonna hold off on that. You were saying? Happy to oblige. Oh no. Uh, do that, Zodi. Do that. Your aim could use some improvement. That's too much. To lose another. Oh, oh my goodness, this is not going well. Okay, there we go. Take, get get rid of the sack. Ooh. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Hang on, Maya. You know what? No. Get rid of get rid of them. Wow. Wow, this is not good. Dive to a safe distance. Okay. This does not work. Ha! Not so hard. No, Palagina, go. There we go. There you go. Good job, Palagina. Goodness. I'll take care of this. Definitely a little bit uh, harder than I was anticipating. I'll admit. At once. Small grooves run the length uh, beneath this altar, directing the flow 
I'll handle this. Uh, blood towards the central chamber. All right. That's fine. Let's go. They're having they're struggling getting through this door. You know, there we go. I don't know why, there's been more stutters now. Not sure what's up with that. I don't know if it's the spell effects or what. Still got it. But granted, like I said, as long as it doesn't crash on me, I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, look at that. Love it. I am the Alpha Predator. Mary Publicus, All right. Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's one more place we haven't went to. There, up ahead. Oh, lovely. Spiders. Ooh, a lot of spiders. Um... Nope, not what I wanted. Ah, uh, what the heck. Me and you are about to mix. Maya. How about wait for it. Wait. Oh wow, they're immune. Attack. You need something. Yes, I need you to do No, not that. Oh god. That's the wrong person, I think. Yes, it is. Whoops. Ooh. Smart Stony. So I think I just heard Paladin say. Watch your fire. Uh, I wonder if that gun actually does friendly fire. I'll take you with this. I don't know. I have Indeed. to I have to keep a note of that and just and see. All right. Anything else in this room besides the skeleton? Oh, there you go. Old copper key. Yeah, once again, it stuttered. That's that's okay. Let's uh, let's make camp. No, let's rest up right here. All right. Okay, nope, let's let's stealth it. In the shadows. No disturbance is tolerated. Okay. Weird how it doesn't show anybody right there, but there's uh revenants. Oh maybe it's just maybe it's this. Maybe that's what I'm looking at. Oh boy. Go. Just go. The better part of valor. Go, go, go. Get him quickly. Me and you are about to mix. Okay, go for the other one. 
Zakoras. Nice name. Ooh, watch out. Yeah, quickly, guys, get rid of him. Oh, he's two levels above. Oh, I hope. Hopefully, we can do it. Speak your mind. All right, all right. Okay, that will bring people back to life. I need to remember that. No, not that. Um, how about we do? Let's do that. Oh, yeah, just focus on him. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Nice. And then Zodi, heal us all. That was, that was, that was good. I'm glad I did that area effect. I think that's what helped us. Uh, making it, uh, making him blind and everything else. So I'll admit, I was, I was a little worried. I was a little worried. Man, we get a lot of goodies today. Make out the words upon the scrapcus. He here rests the head that bore the crown of devotion. All right, time to take care of these guys. Got someone in Behold me, mother. Oh wow. Let's try to take him out first. Before we disengage. So help me gone, I'll work the next one of you who takes aim at me. Okay. Go ahead. It's beyond me. That's okay, keep attacking. Oh wait, you can't. Second wind, okay. It might be immune to most of the damage, but it's bound to die at some point. You were saying, give me the order. Oh, so... Yeah, so it does... Hang, well, I can't switch it in combat, but I, it looks like it does affect, uh... You know, party members. I'm listening. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I'll take care of this. There we go. Let's go. Down to the third level. Whoa. That looks really awesome. Um Goodness, I don't know why it's stuttering all the, you know, so much, but, oh well. This you is ask too much. Limits. I must rest. Oh goodness, it is hurting them. I am so sorry. 
Um. Not sad, Gina. God's oh no! Oh god. Um. Uh. Uh, auto save? Yes. Yes, I'm doing this. Not like that. I'm not. I'm not. No. <laughs> to pit, like you know. I normally wouldn't like reload and stuff, but like coming like like. No, we're. we're she's not gonna go down like that. Uh uh. So okay. Whoops. Um, Viewers give me the order. Ishi. All right, sending Quiet one person. Time. Thank goodness it all saved here. Ah! You see that, Ishi? Yeah, let's Lover do this. Seek. Okay. There ah. we go. Yeah, definitely should have, uh, done this before. go okay let us continue of course god I got I got so scared Palagina would be gone forever if it didn't auto save thank goodness it auto saved yes. all right and with him way station level three oh, there's a soul up ahead probably somebody part of the expedition let's look at the soul before we mess with that box a woman lies dead on the tiles her skin discolored with decay her rent flesh sours away to reveal bone. No maggots or bu bugs have reached her here, which only means that there's more of her left to assault your nostrils. Oh, great. A sword lies discarded beside her. A pack lies beneath her arm, and the barest whip of essence hovers over her body. I'm going to read her soul first. The brief images you see are scattered and confused. You're an explorer with the Valen Trading Company, and you are searching the ruins with your comrades. At least they used to be your comrades. Now you're not so sure. Things have been going wrong ever since you got to this island. First, with Gian, then Orla, or Laura, sorry. Though it might have started earlier on Tikorora, maybe when Vector fell sick. You hear a scream in the distance. You don't know where the others are. You don't know why there's blood on your hands. You don't know why it's so hard to think. But you remember that you were supposed to be quiet to avoid the notice of whatever is down here. Something moves in darkness. The woman's body lies at the end of the trail, of smeared, crusted blood. The damage to her armor suggests a fight, though it looks like that her attacker or attackers allowed her to crawl away to die. Holding your breath, you deal to search the body. As you handle her remains, clumps of muscle and flesh fall off. Well, these are just wonderful images. Goodness. Raising a fresh wave of rot. Most of her belong belongings are slimy and rancid with uh, protrudences, but her pack has escaped the worst of it. Inside you find a few torn pages and a card figurine. Oh joy. Let's uh, take the pages, but I figure that figurine might have been cursed or something similar. So the pages. They look like they were ripped from a book or a journal. They're brown and warped with a spilled drink and scrawled with a few brief entries. Uh, Bez's pages. Let's go ahead and read this. Oh yeah, it's good. Bear with me as I read this. These pages have been tore, torn out of a larger book. They are stained brown and stiff with some dark, fragrant liquid. 
The entries begin thus. I wanted so badly to find Pogokohara, and now we are stuck here. No one dares to leave while the Titan roams outside, so we must hope we can find another exit, somewhere in the ruins. Our Laura must have triggered it. It did not move until she began prying open the door, and before we knew it, it had Jian. The others did not say it, but I know they blame me for failing to save him. As much as a dirt from the author's hand streaked the page around the next entry. Alara is gone too. We move more slowly now, wary of traps and monsters. I detest this creeping about, and, uh, Duno's stomping nearly makes all pointless. But Valero has all sorry, has almost lost his nerve, and I do not think he can take another nasty surprise. The next entry is filled with big crooked letters that loop and swoop like a child's. The other sleep. We decide against candles or campfires, so are right in the glow of the Adra. It is good, because I hear something moving in the dark, even if the others do not. Lara insisted that we move slowly so he can study the murals and the patterns in the floor. He thinks to save us from the mishaps, like uh, the others that b befell Gian and Olara. But none of that will help if the creatures here catch us. Nero hides in lim a limp, but if the way he looks at Valero and me makes me think, okay, uh, he is hiding something too. Oh, okay, so I'm sorry, the way he looks at essentially both of them, okay. I don't know why I read that weird. Anyways, they grow more and more paranoid with every hour in this place. When they awaken, we will press forward so that we may be done with it. In the meantime, I'll keep the pages with my own observations. I cannot trust the others with them. The next entry is hastily scribbled. Lord lost the logbook and accuses me of sabotage. Sabotage! He is so busy sketching these murals that he forgets why are we here. But I saw the Audra and I understood. This place is sick. We're here to cure it. Valera says the Juana are here long, were here long ago. The murals prove as much. I think one of Mara looks much like another, but he gave me an idea. Right now, we spend blood and treasure searching for Luminous Audra. Our task would be much easier if we could make regular Audra uh, luminous by etching it with live souls. Okay. As I look at the equipment that Gwithin's built here, so I like the machine, like our machines, sorry, our Animancers construct. I wonder if once, forgive me everybody, I'm so sorry. I wonder if they once did this very thing. We have the villagers of Tikarar so eager to help. When we return to Nakataka, I will present the idea to Alvari. I do not think Director Catchell has a stomach for it, nor my companions, I fear. Dad, no. That is messed up. To try to use the use them as uh you know, I guess like slaves and whatnot, or you know, as experiments and No. Okay, what's this figurine? I'm kinda wary about picking this up, but the wooden figurine has a uh the body of a woman and the head of a fish, with beady eyes and a gaping snaggle tooth maw. It's pale and rough textured, like it was carved recently. The gaudy idol. Careful, Watcher. That thing's got a nasty hex on it. Confusion feels like. Can I drop it? What's her weapon? Uh, the saber boasts of a viciously, viciously serrated edge. Despite the state of its former master, the blade appears to be in good condition as you receive it. Tooth blade. Oh, it's a saber. Okay. Let's leave. Is there any way to actually drop that idol? That would be fantastic if there is. Uh, what am I looking for? Nope. 
That's okay. I'll handle this. I guess I'll handle the consequences when it comes. You know, when it comes. So. Okay, there's another mural. But let's grab this. I'll take care of The water figure's sacrifice seems to have spilled. Sorry, have supplied the pillar with energy, depicted in blue flame. Oh wow, it it just shook. I'll handle this. So I'm really I don't know about going on this side of this door. Yeah. So I think I'm not sure how long I've been recording, but I think this is actually a good stopping point. I know we're right there, everybody. I know we're right there, but I'll save it for next time. So yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for watching this episode. And if you're, you know, you've been with me like you have, Alan, and anybody else, thank you for continuing to tune in. I greatly appreciate it. Wherever you guys are, have a good day. Have a good night. And take it easy, everyone.